Hello, hello, and hello. Welcome back to another video. Yes, it's been a while. It's been a good long time. It's been probably about two or three weeks since I posted. Um, yeah. Other than that, yes, I am back. Um, I've been doing the been experimenting with the little shorts and all the stuff and everything like that. So, yes. Um, been experiencing with the shorts. Um, giving you in depth um info about what's going on with my channel via shorts. So, if you see, chances are, if you see shorts, it's probably like little small little snippets of videos that I've did, or either it's videos of what's going on you know like little small mini vlogs and stuff so yeah but other than that what is up hand yes there's a bunch of videos surfacing around talking about Seth the program he's talking about this he's just speculating this he's speculating that but this time I had to check this out myself so right now there's a thing that's going around that Freezer's actually went black now. So, Freezer Black, they were saying, they be, everybody is speculating about, oh, is he stronger than Goku? Is he this? Is he that? I do not know anything about no Freezer Black. My knowledge of it was probably about like three or four days ago. But I'm not even going to talk about this no more. We're about to get into this. Freezer done went black. They claiming that he's stronger than Goku. We don't know. We're about to see what's about to go down with this self, uh, self the program, and see what exactly what everybody is buzzing about because everybody's been buzzing about this on my news feed. And this, I mean, I got to find some insight about what's going on with this. So we're about to go ahead and hit to this video right now. See all right here. So we got Seth the programmer. We're about to go ahead and go up in this right now. Dragon Ball has always been a series full of some of the coldest villains I've ever seen in fiction. Kid Buu killing everyone on Earth and then chasing them to the afterlife just to do it again. Super Buu raising yeah. his hand and killing all of humanity in one attack because Piccolo told him to waste some time on killing humans. To buy Gotenks moments to repair. Yeah, Raditz I remember that. To Earth to try and recruit his brother to his gang and willing to kill him and everyone he loves if he doesn't. Moro killing every Namekian warrior, fusing together without even ever seeing what he looks like. Broly I know, right? Through the main character's strongest attack, or how Goku yeah, black it's black like a whole lot of stuff. Goku's whole family just to get the hands from him. Frieza is no exception, with him killing Vegeta while he gave a sad speech about how Frieza killed their whole race and then pretty much just laughed about it, coming back from losing to Goku as Mecha Frieza to immediately throw hands again, only to come back from hell and train with the sole purpose of slapping around Goku again. Then when he did die again, he just sat in hell, literally imagining killing Goku from the grave so much it actually what? made him stronger. It's safe to say that most Dragon Ball villains make even psychos like Naruto, Zabuza, One Piece's Doflamingo, or even Bleach's Aizen look pretty sane. But what Frieza did in this last chapter of Super is honestly a different okay. tier altogether. Frieza came into Granola and Gas's arc, one-shot every single person in it, murdered all the main villains in one attack, one what? shot Goku and Vegeta that just spent a whole arc getting powers that surpass what made every god of destruction and lords of their universes stand up in admiration, then laughed at them about it, then took two of the main villains as henchmen as his personal butlers, and then left after making someone else his. This is the equivalent of Aizen coming back at Bleach, and instead of helping Ichigo defeat Yuha, he just one shot him, then one shot Ichigo, and then just Okay, hang on for a minute. So right now, at this point, this is all freaking spoilers for all those who don't know anything about all this. I mean, I don't even know anything about it. Me, personally, I don't really care if it's a spoiler because somewhere down the line, I'm going to look at it regardless because I'm an anime fan. I like manga. I like all that. So I'm going to catch up, you know, as soon as everything gets right with this YouTube. Trust me, I'm going to have time to sit around and, and be 
looking at all this stuff. So spoilers, I mean, if you have issues with spoilers or whatever like that, I mean, it's already probably like two minutes in. I mean, it's probably done spoil something or whatever for somebody. But if you don't have anything, you know, if you don't want to have no parts of, you know, of spoiling anything, please, you know, kindly just, you know, leave out. But if you want to just stay and just look at it just because you're a fan of manga and all of that, just like me, by all means, stay, stick around. I mean, I, I would take take in your likes i was taking your views and all the other stuff and everything i mean because like i said i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna watch this regardless so whether it's you know whether it's a spoiler or not i'm still gonna sit and watch it so just got back into his chair black frieza embodies a whole different level of hatred and pettiness that many characters can only i like the way he said that happen. hatred so and pettiness because that's exactly what it is Black Frieza and just how strong he got from training for 10 years straight to whoop Oh, Goku's ass. 10 years. So obviously this video is going to mainly be sort of more of a hypothesis rather than a factual one. Uh, but you guys usually like okay. this type, so I thought I'd have fun with it. We will learn Frieza's true limits and place on the pecking order more in the future, blah, blah, blah. Pecking but order. Now it's safe to say we probably won't know for a very long time. So let's go over it just for the fun of it. For those that used to scale Dragon Ball back in the day, you heard that right. The current Frieza straight up jumped in a hyperbolic time chamber on some betrayed and trapped in a time chamber. Yeah, everybody I have like a whole lot of different videos. Basically That's what I was saying. GT time skip of just straight hard core training as frieza frieza okay. is the guy who went from being weaker than super saiyan one goku on namek to being stronger than goku with 17 years of training super saiyan 2 3 super saiyan god that almost blasted apart reality then that super saiyan god form stacking super saiyan literally on top of it after training okay. a god of destruction and an angel in just four months yeah and now he just okay. dropped 10 years you can kind of see how this is going to get a little crazy. Even before this 10 year training, we sort of have to account for Frieza's further increases from Revival of F that didn't involve this. Example, yeah, I know. Frieza after dying and imagining beating Goku in the afterlife with image training actually is his equal as a Super Saiyan Blue, even though Goku had just gone through all of the Universe 6 arc and Goku Black arc and years of training in his own time chamber before Universe 6, where he obviously got many power-ups. The most notable increase Goku got from those arcs that is pretty objective okay. is that Goku went from fighting and arguably losing to hit I make oh, God, the freaking ads. I'm not, I'm not knocking the ads. It just it comes in at the wrong moment. Blue Kaioken times 10 to actually trying with a stronger and more haxed able to kill hit in just base blue. Showing that he got over 10 times stronger from the Goku Black Arc alone. This is, of course, ignoring the potential okay. level increase he got from breaking his limits versus Fuse Zamasu. I went over this argument in my How Strong is Goku video, but basically, Goku actually after getting beat around a little is able to series which i probably might end up going going through that video too because that video has been surfacing up a little bit too um i mean i'm if you by all means if you like you know me reacting to all of this stuff and taking in all the information and everything i mean by all means hit the like button um make sure you subscribe um i am thinking about live streaming on youtube maybe on my gaming channel that um link is in the description it's the first link in the description like first one has my latest video you know and all the stuff and everything like that so here to give me a little sip but um yeah back to the video but but yeah goku is the only one i know of that actually has a lot of power-ups the main one that has power-ups power work power ups out the ass for real for real obviously damage a fusion amped goku black zamasu fusion in pretty short succession many people have different excuses or reasonings for this but if you accept this then frieza pretty much got a fusion level increase of his own by the time he's revived for the tournament of power but at the bare minimum he is at least over 10 times stronger than revival of f just by image training and not being able to move that alone should also speak to his potential that many people don't really seem to notice or account for 
However, this potential is actually potentially further shown in the Tournament of Power, where he probably gets even more powerful. During the Tournament of Power, Freeze is considered either second to Goku or around Goku's level, who by this point can use Kaioken times 20. Some argue about whether the guide that actually compares them is just referring to Blue Goku rather than Kaioken, but you get the idea. By the end of the Tournament of Power, Goku and Vegeta surpass Kefla in their second battle with Jiren, fighting a power stronger than they've ever felt before, as stated by Vegeta Blue when he first faces Jiren, actually. Stronger than probably even Fuse Zamasu, Blue Vegito potentially, and Ultra Instinct Omen's second release. Then Vegeta, okay. after thinking he took down or hurt a fighter on this level with his final flash, then gains Blue Evolution, which is sort of like his version of Kaioken times 20, yeah. and fights a God of Destruction powered Topo. Frieza 2 takes blows from Topo, albeit he can't kill him, and Frieza eventually even fights alongside Android 17 and Goku against a fatigued Jiren and win the Tournament of Power. If you think Android 17 doesn't get weaker no matter what due to infinite stamina or blah blah blah, he was able to take blows meant for Kaioken times 20 Goku and Evolution Vegeta. It could easily imply Frieza got to at least near this level as well, or perhaps even surpassed it by the end of okay. the Tournament of Power. I this is of you. course being charitable, and if this is true, Frieza easily grows hundreds to thousands Thousands of times stronger than he already was in just 48 minutes of harsh and limit breaking fights. This may okay. seem like a eyeball at first, but this is actually somewhat supported with the next installment of the anime, the Dragon Ball Super Broly. And in this movie, Goku and Vegeta basically get manhandled by Super Saiyan Broly in a 2v1. And even combining their attacks can't do anything <laughs> to him. In fact, they are so gapped in power. They don't even bother going Kaioken times 20 or Evolution respectively and just run away to fuse. And even then they are so tired they basically just both pass out by biting Broly briefly. It sort of implies they can't just go for Broly out always be that I'm gonna tell you this right now. Broly always be that guy. He always be that guy that they always have trouble trying to handle. I don't care what it is. It just seems like Broly is that one guy, that one saying that always be like they just cannot come to grips in terms of it, you know, in a full potential way on a first, you know, on a first stride. You know, it's like they always have to retreat. They have to back up. They, it's like they always get, like he was saying before, like Seth was saying, get manhandled. It's like it's always something going on between them and Brody. Broly is like the guy. I love me, I love me some Broly, man. For real, I do. I'm a Broly fan. But you know, regardless of how how jacked up his attitude is and everything like that, I mean, this guy over here likes free, like um Vegeta. I mean, come on, man. Like, I like Vegeta so much. Goku's that guy too. You know, he's the, he's the number one. Always been the number one. But if Broly, he always be that pers that person they always have a problem with all the time. Don't know why, but they always have that problem. And obviously, Broly has a problem with them too. You know, they have issues, really. <laughs> if you really ask me, find an attack and then one shot Broly or something, implying Broly is probably in a caliber or a tier of over forty times stronger than Goku and Vegeta in their blue states which is actually Damn. proven soon as well in that movie. The reason this is important is, of course, Broly fights Frieza when Goku and Vegeta run away. Oh, they really? They fuse and actually fail at fusing twice. Since each failure would last 30 minutes, that means Frieza fought this possibly over 40 times post-Tournament of Power Blue Goku for an hour straight. Yeah, he sat there and got beat up by a guy that scared Goku and Vegeta at the same time longer than the Dang. entire Tournament of Power and then some. This is why I don't find it hard to believe Frieza got stronger during the Tournament of Power. Not only this, but okay. Frieza and Broly probably also grew stronger yeah, he's in that his hour. They fight each other until Gogeta finally arrives and then takes out Broly for good. Frieza sees Gogeta Blue and this full power Broly and decides he is no match for Gogeta and just decides to leave, respectively. This then leads us to Frieza's training arc while Goku deals with the Moro arc and Granola arcs, respectively. During the Moro arc, Goku gets a hang of Mastered Ultra Instinct by training with an apprentice angel named Demiris and gets the hang of an even further powered up form called the True Ultra Instinct against Gas, who is wished to be the okay. strongest in the universe. Making I told him, hey mom, I spent eight years oh. on this degree, but I see what I'm talking about. And I really want to change jobs. Getting to the right good part. 
Keem no, stronger than Goku go. was before this. Ultra Ego, Vegeta, Granola, who was also wished to be the strongest in the universe a while before. Broly, and etc. Frieza then comes in and one-shots true Ultra Instinct Goku, which could bully Broly and even Ultra Instinct Goku really? before. Ultra Ego, Vegeta, and one-shots Gas and turns him into a skeleton on some Doctor Doom versus Thanos shit. Mox Goku by de-transforming <laughs> the mind of a Namek. <laughs> they had to do that. After saying he trained for 10 years straight. But the Taco Bell so gong up in there. What does 10 years actually mean? Can we make a calculation or implication? Oh, for Lord, here we go. Power? Somewhat. There's Somewhat. three ways to go about this. You can okay. say, one, say that it is sort of a multiplicative thing, taking Frieza and revival of Frieza and dividing it by Namek Frieza's power. Or two, a linear additional thing, and you simply add a golden Frieza worth of power every four months or three, three. make a lore narrative implication. The multiplication way is pretty absurd, going from busting up some big stars to busting up dozens of macrocosms over with punches. The number would be utterly insane every four months, and would put Frieza in something Goku and Vegeta probably wouldn't even dream of hitting even if they fused. At that point, I'd be surprised if even Whis would swap hands with Frieza, given those really? types of numbers. But when Resurrection F first came out and was on websites, it actually stated Frieza got infinitely more powerful than he was on Namek in just this short amount of time. Oh as boy, well. so that's a lot of zeros. That crazy. So a lot of zeros. So applies to Black Frieza, and this Frieza is some kind of multiversal god entity that probably is going to be fighting Zeno pretty soon. But I doubt that, and I don't think that's the implication. The addition way of Frieza becoming a golden Frieza stronger every four months, this method also doesn't work. As we went over earlier, Frieza got over ten times stronger from image yeah, training in the afterlife. You said that. And this image training was arguably less than a year long in the actual manga and anime's timeline. And with the addition theory, Frieza would only at most get three times stronger, yet he got over ten times and beyond and even mastered his gold form. The final okay. one is probably the most safe, and that is the narrative one. The narrative one is how strong do you think Frieza would have to be for him to confidently come out, beat up Goku and Vegeta, and let them walk free another day? How strong would Frieza actually have to be to not even care if they survived and kept training? And how strong would he have to be to keep his insecure little personality that carefree? Frieza mm. in his 10 years states he is training pretty much so that he won't lose to the Saiyans ever again. Not only that, I know that's, that's probably most likely his goal. He even notes him as a self improvement type before seeing any of his development, even before Super begins even before he meets him in Super, and actually accurately gauged how long it'd take for him to be stronger than him given the time frame. Despite Goku getting crazy god power-ups nobody reading this series ever would have imagined. Frieza called it pretty accurately. Here, he does it again, more than likely. Stronger than any Saiyan, by the way, means he is accounting for Broly, Gohan, Vegeta, Kefla, Goku, and potentially even Gogeta. Him being stronger than Broly is a given. Even Goku and Vegeta are the strongest and second strongest in the universe. Yeah, I know, right? Many wishes are made in the Granola arc for, and all the promotional material for that arc. And question who could be stronger than them to Whis and Beerus, despite Broly obviously existing and being mentioned before. Broly isn't really the interesting part of this equation. Kefla is somewhat interesting, giving her insane potential that Frieza would have definitely analyzed, but probably not a huge factor. And Goku and Vegeta, even with their Ultra Instinct form, that Frieza predicted they'd master eventually gets one shot in. Gohan is a bit more interesting as if Frieza can read Gohan like he can all the other Saiyans as accurately as he does, he may have actually prepared himself for an eventuality like Beast Gohan as well, but that is far more up in the air. I wouldn't be surprised though if Frieza noted Gohan's potential however and as a child when he was seeing all his explosive potential numerous times. Yeah, no, right? All the many times, time. yeah, well, when he first began, the yeah, when he was younger. Is obviously Gogeta and Frieza training to fight a Goku and Vegeta fusion rather than them individually, which is why he went so overkill on his training. Frieza, of course, wants to Hell be yeah, he went overkill by it. You know, Goku just Vegeta go ahead and fun rivals to fight with, which was even you know, go ahead and you know, why not? I mean, why not go go all the way with it? Why should you just sit up there and just be like half ass a task when you just go ahead and just go all the way with it? You know, that's that doesn't make any sense and that does make it doesn't make any sense to think that way but it makes logical sense for freezer to think that way though for real for real 
Because even though Frieza is that guy that um even though Frieza is like that guy that be like cold and calculating and stuff like that, he is thought he is methodical. He methodical. He thinks logically when he's mad. Very logically. He does not sit up there and just be like have his mind clouded and everything. It's like he makes logical sense when he comes up to, you know, taking down Goku or the Saiyans or whatever like that. It's like that's like oil and water to him. Really is. It's like oil going into some like water going into some hot oil, really. It's just nothing but explosiveness. Things gonna be going out crazy. It's gonna go ham, all that other shit. You know? I wouldn't doubt it been implied during Namek, let alone by the end of Super, where he is just wishing to be taller and stuff. But for him to spare them in that moment is either A, a huge character change, or B, extreme confidence. If he wants to be the strongest in the universe, he has to know that Goku and Vegeta's trump card is, in fact, Gogeta. And that fusion he watched and experienced firsthand. Not only this, yeah. he seems to be up gauge that Goku and Vegeta would probably master their instinct powers by this point, at least Goku being able to use the white form. Meaning, this dude, Frieza, may have been training for a potential Ultra Instinct Gogeta. Yeah, let that kind of sink in. Considering what he did in four months of real training and less than a year of sitting a cocoon, just thinking ten years straight does seem like overkill just to beat Goku and Vegeta, doesn't it? Especially for someone as impatient, egotistical as Frieza. That's exactly what I was just saying. That's exactly what I was just saying. He dedicated and egotistical. To be honest, I really think it would be an instinct one. But still, Blue Gogeta is considered an equal trump card to Vegito Blue, and while Vegito Blue, made of the same Goku and Vegeta, is probably stronger or slightly stronger than Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue in the manga is as strong as Beerus even during the Goku Black arc, let alone a post term oh, okay. power Gogeta Blue, or post Moro Ultra Instinct Gogeta. If this is the case, Frieza may have not only been training to face Gogeta, but perhaps as well, even Beerus who actually directly threatened to destroy him if he trains and becomes so strong he tries to kill Goku and gang again. All in all, I personally think Frieza is going to be a next level fusion level combatant in my personal opinion at the minimum and I think everything really points to it. It'd be really disappointing if Goku and Vegeta can simply surpass him again with a little training arc and that was I that. know right. But hey, maybe I'm being too hopeful. As a last point, some people Might try be. saying Frieza actually spared Goku and Vegeta because he couldn't win a fight against them at that moment. I'm not joking. But not only <laughs> did Frieza one shot a guy already stronger than both of them, who actually went berserker amped on top of being stronger than them before that amp, but he then one shot Goku and Vegeta out of their forms into base uh, while sparing. Yeah. Them, to the point yeah, that we just seen in the clip. All Frieza would have to do is just sort of death beam them or blink at them, and then they would just die. And even if Granola tried to step in, he would just get one shot as well. So I don't really know what this argument is. But either, even then, I would say Frieza, rather than thinking he'd lose, simply spared them because he sees them as entertainment, which was implied during Namek, or spared them out of which, extreme Which, which I can see that. I can see that. Level, or at the absolute bare minimum if you think he was scared of something it would be because he was scared of the threat of beerus trying to get maybe revenge or eradicating him if he took out goku and vegeta other than that that's how strong we can hypothesize black frieza is at the moment i tried to go over every little detail but what do you guys think remember it is frieza we're talking about in 10 years of training on top of that but otherwise the next time oh wow Okay, so that's the end of that. Okay. First off, we'll start off by saying any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can put them, gladly put them in the comment section. But yes, question is, could Freezer Black or Black Freezer, um, do you think he'll actually be stronger than Goku? Well, he's saying that based off of the information that was surfacing around um blue gogeta or no blue vegeto um 
it's pretty much the strongest one that actually can contain Frieza Black. So, what do you think? I mean, my thing is, it could be a 50-50 grudge match, possibly. But at the same time, all the many years of hatred and everything like that, this is like, this is like Frieza we're talking about. You know, the guy that just be like, you know, hate your fuck, like hate the saying guts and stuff like that, you know? Hang on for a minute. All right. Like, he hates their guts. Like, literally hates their guts. Like, and then you're sitting around plotting for 10 years about how you're going to take Goku out. And I'm pretty sure Goku is the main one on this hit list because, I mean, why not go for Goku? He's like the number one. He's like the the gold and platinum tear of all sayings, you know? So why not go go gunning for him first, you know? But yes, he's gonna go for him. Just because he was gonna go for him doesn't mean he's not he's not gonna settle for that only. No, he's gonna go for everybody. If he can get Goku, he can get Vegeta, he can get the rest of them, so on and so forth. You know? So yes. Um I would say 50 50, but then at the same time, I'm thinking it's more leaning towards Frieza. Because, like I said, this dude hates the Saiyan's guts. He hates their guts for real, for real. Like, he really don't like them. He never did care for them, like, for that much. Like, he was straight cold. You know? Straight cold. But, yes, this is the end of the video. Please subscribe. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, um, notification bell if you wish, you know, if you could. Um, comments, um, any type of feedback or anything, I that's that's a section for you that's dedicated for you to use, you know. Feedback, comments, questions, suggestions, all of that can be in the comment section. It's open for anybody to do. Far as subscribe subscribers, I mean we're slowly getting up there, but we're still trying to hit that thousand before before or a little after New Year. So we're still hitting on that one K. We're still gonna try and get that. Okay. But um, other than that, gaming channel, you know, Bob Links Gaming. You know where it's at. That's where I'm gonna be at. I'm uh start live streaming on that probably later on this week. Probably hell, probably tomorrow. You know, well, not tomorrow. Well, probably later on today when this video comes out, probably later on, like later on after this video. So, you know, jump over to the, you know, the gaming channel and everything like that. I will be posting segments, you know, in the shorts, letting everybody know about the gaming channel and so on and so forth and everything and spread the word that way. But other than that, yeah, everything, everything's good. We're chilling. Um, just trying to figure out what you know what platform to go on like i said in the past vlog check out my vlogs you know be up to date with that um you know um in my vlogs just trying to find a a live stream home to be at for as far as platform and all the other stuff and everything like that i'm very i'm i'm trying to get used to the whole live stream before youtube because it's a little different from Facebook, but then at the same time, Facebook is actually acting kind of crazy right now. So I'm kind of like jumping around, you know, I shouldn't have to do that. You know, if they were treating the people right or whatever like that, but it's not happening. So it's too much of an up and down thing. Twitch, I do not know what's going on with Twitch. Twitch just, just do not like me at all. Like I try and live stream as much as possible on Twitch. Somehow my somehow my freaking stuff gets cut every time. Like far as my live stream, my live stream feed, it gets cut. I don't wanna think it's my I don't wanna think it's my, you know, my internet or anything like that, but that is kinda funny how I just go on Twitch and it just blanks out every so often, you know. Facebook, I have no problems. YouTube, I hardly have no problems. So I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Either they're blocking me or either they just don't want me on the platform. I don't know why. I don't have nobody but 11 followers. So 
I don't know. So like I said, with this whole Facebook thing is leaving me to jump around from place to place. I do not have a live stream platform home, so to speak. I do not have one I'm trying to find one because it's like I'm putting out gaming content, but it's like at the same time, I want to do live stream too, but I cannot do it because I don't know where to go it for. So with, your, with you all being, you know, very helpful, spread the word about it, you know, jump over there. I don't have much, but trust me, if you jump over there and everything, trust me. I will have more stuff coming. So other than that, this is Bob signing off. Um, stay tuned for another video later on. I am back, full effect, getting back to this con, you know, getting back to the the whole um you know, putting posting content and all that. So without further ado, I will see you in the next video.